free-to-play games have become an integral part of gaming culture and are growing to the size of many AAA games thanks to their focus on microtransactions. In this series, I outline the last 10 free games you may have missed and also bring your attention to older free-to-play games that have had an overhaul. But before we go ahead, let's see if we can get 2,000 likes on this video. And please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because it really inspires me to make more videos like this one. That's enough jibber jabber, let's go. Number 10, Knockout City. Sometimes we all need a break from Battle Royale, but we still want some fast paced action. How about the video game Dodgeball? Knockout Cities is EA's new action sports title in which we literally play dodgeball. And it says in the Bible, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Knockout City takes what you know about dodgeball and cranks it up to 11. We can catch the ball and return fire, but those action elements really come into play with physical attacks. Knockout City is released on May 21st, but here's the thing you should know. The game will let players enjoy the brawling for free till they reach street rank level 25. It's all tied up. Number 9, Retrograde Arena. Looking straight out of Tron, this game is a top-down twin-stick shooter where the arena walls can kill you, with you having to take out your opponents using a myriad of weapons to push your enemies to their death. With up to six players at a time, Retrograde Arena presents a frantic and fast-paced shooter and is emboldened even further with the extra game modes that players can choose from. In addition, the game fits right at home with the Nintendo Switch, especially if you're already used to games like Super Bomberman R. Number 8, Apex Legends. Another free-to-play game from a few months ago, Apex Legends. I know you've tried it, and I know you either love it or you've left it behind by now. With Season 9 comes a new game mode you should try. Arena is essentially the same as Rogue Company, but in the first person and with only three players per side, this game mode is a fantastic way to try out new weapons outside of Battle Royale. Arena is a permanent mode, so grab a few friends and jump in. It's a great break from Battle Royale. Super Bomberman R. If you are old school like me, this will be easy to understand. But if you're new to the series, let me break it down for you. Super Bomberman pits players against each other in an arena of sorts, and then gives them bombs to break walls and blow each other up. Under the destroyable walls are numerous power-ups ranging from the ability to kick bombs out of the way to increasing their blast radius from there. It's the last man standing as the champion, and that's the thing we should concentrate on here because R Online introduces Battle Royale to Bombermen. All three to 64 players queue up to join a match and begin in adjoining rooms with three other players. Once a winner is declared, that player can move into another room and join that battle. This continues and repeats until someone achieves the victory and shouts to a winner winner chicken dinner. Number 6. Vigor. A totally free-to-play survival looter shooter set in Norway, Vigor does some great things to distance itself from its rivals. Firstly, in this post-apocalyptic world, staying alive is vital. Players move into an area and scavenge for everything they can supply, ammo, and ultimately new weapons. Then a slow-moving toxic cloud fills the map, and only certain paths lead to your escape sounds easy. If you die, you lose everything that is on your character. FYI, Vigor uses battle passes, cosmetic items, and weapons blueprints as the main revenue to make money. Uh. 
Number five, Capcom Arcade Stadium. Capcom has released Capcom Arcade Stadium, a collection of 32 titles released between 1994 and 2001. While diehard Capcom Arcade fans will likely want to grab the full set of games, others may prefer to invest in one of the game's three smaller game packs. To start, you can download the game for free, which grants you access to 1943, The Battle for Midway. If you decide you want more, you can either buy one of three packs of 10 games or go all in with the entire collection. Overall, whether you're a newcomer or an arcade veteran, there's something here for you. Number 4. CRSED FOAD This is a free-to-play, third-person shooter with an online focus. The game was first released on PC in 2018 and is now available for Nintendo Switch. In the game, players will fight it out in chaotic battles as one of eight champions with unique superpowers. Players will have access to a huge arsenal of firearms, melee weapons, and other weaponry. The best part I like, players can take part in ruthless, last man standing battles from the comfort of their own homes or at work. All in all, it's actually a pretty good entry in the genre too, with excellent mechanics and a good amount of variety. However, on Nintendo Switch, this game is completely hampered by its poor, terrible graphics. Number three, Rogue Company. I spoke about this last time we met up and now it's fully free to play. Rogue Company is a team shooter. A squad of players group up on a futuristic chopper and then skydive onto the battlefield to either frag out or secure points each round. We start back on that hell carrier again and use the blood money from the previous fight to buy new weapons to rinse and repeat. The best part is the characters each have a set of abilities and weapons to choose from, from a Cantana throwing Femi Fatale to a Thanos snapping Lone Wolf, who can see enemies through walls for a few seconds. Number two, Skyforge. This is a free-to-play MMORPG that takes place in the fantasy sci-fi world of Aelion, where players take the role of recently killed warrior resurrected as an immortal who fights hordes of invading creatures. I really like the art style and aesthetic of the world. Overall, between the microtransactions and graphics balanced with the gameplay and storyline, I would argue that the game is pretty decent. For a platform that doesn't have much in terms of MMO, Skyforge is a good start. Threat level maximum. Balance of forces changed. Number 1. Fighting X-Slayer 
あなたとか夢の中でも一緒に戦ったのですかラウンドワンファイト This is a fighting video game developed by Rika. It is a spiritual successor to Fighting Lair and the Street Fighter X series and features many of the same characters from the latter. The game is basically a spin off of Street Fighter 2. It plays pretty similarly, using six buttons and taking place entirely on a 2D plane. It does feature a fairly lax combo system, allowing you to easily chain together combos using regular, special, and super attacks. <laughs> That's it for today, guys. What did you think of our top 10 list of free games? Let us know in the comment section down below if there's any of your favorites that we missed out on or which one of these you're gonna check out. 